Hey everyone, it's Jen. Thank you so much for joining me for this week's Friday Haul. It's Friday, July 29th. I hope everybody is doing great and that you're having a wonderful week. Looking forward to the weekend. Um, everything is good here. I got a bunch of good stuff this week, so looking forward to showing you. And the first thing I wanted to show you is some happy mail I got. And this is from Wally, and she had seen um, my comment that I could not find ephemera for the, the Simple Life, simple Life collection at Joann's. So she offered to look for me and she found a couple packs and she sent them to me. So I offered to pay and she wouldn't take any payment. So thank you so much, Wally, if you're watching this. That was really, really sweet of you. Um, and she wrapped it in this beautiful Diana Markham fabric. Isn't that so cute? I love the little gingerbread guys on it. So I will definitely put this to good use. So I just wanted to show you how she packaged it. And she sent me two of the ephemeras. So these are the ones with the cute little mice that have the strawberries. So let me show you what it looks like. I'm so excited. Now I have everything I wanted of this collection. See the little mouse? Oh, so adorable. There's even vellum pieces in here. So thanks again, Wally. That was really, really kind of you. And um, yeah, I just, I appreciate your thoughtfulness. And I'll do that later. And uh, yeah, so thank you. Thank you very much. All right, let's move on to my haul for this week. Um, I went to Hobby Lobby. I had seen a video from Armin. Hi, Armin, if you're watching. Happy Mail Queen. She had shared this paper pad, and she said she saw it on Erica's channel. I didn't see it there. I must have missed a video or something, which is weird because I usually watch all of hers, so I'm going to have to go back and look. But anyway, this is from the Paper Studio. It's called Black on Black, and it's a 12 by 12 paper pad. This one is still $19.99. I noticed a lot of them were $21.99, but um, Paper Studio was on sale this week for 50% off, so it was $10. And these are gorgeous black glossy uh, papers. So it comes with um, three each of 10 designs. I'll just do a quick flip through to show you. But it's like normal paper, but with like a glossy print on it. So there's like this animal print one, there's a stripe. And you know, you always need black papers. They're great for accents, for backgrounds. I love to use them as frames. This one's really pretty, this floral. Um, great for Halloween projects that you might be working on now. There's this big floral too. Oh, so pretty. I'm so glad you showed this, Armin, because I never would have thought to check this out. And there's that one, it's got like a diamond print. So this is awesome. Yeah, like a wallpaper print. I'm so happy to have this. They had two left at my store, so I was glad to get one. Um, I looked for a six by six too, but I didn't see one. I like this vine, by the way. And they're only single-sided. And there's a plaid too, great for masculine cards. Here's like a smaller diamond print. I, just, I really love this. And then some polka dots. I think that's it. Yeah. So yeah, great paper pad. Uh, check out your Hobby Lobby if you're interested. They also had some like craft ones too that were really nice, but I don't use craft paper as much. I think black will be a little bit more uh, practical for me. All right, I also got in the paper pad section this one. This is called Bees. I didn't see this in a 12 by 12, but uh, the six by six was good. And this was $11.99, so 50% off that. And I showed a project I made for a uh, adorn it uh, video, if you want to check that out. It's like a couple videos back. But isn't this pretty? It's all blues and yellows with um, bee prints. And it's also got a little bit of like rosy coral in it too. So let me do a flip through of this in case you are interested. And this one has like a little bit of a yellow honeycomb in the back and just like a pretty toile with navy blue. So this is perfect if you're looking to, you know, for like a bee pad, but I don't know. Some of the other ones that I've seen, I haven't really liked that much, like bee papers, but this one I really like. It's kind of elegant, but you can make it um, cute, I think. They're like this, this pattern here, it's a honeycomb, but uh, it's got different color yellows. So this would go with all sorts of styles. This is so pretty. It's got little polka dots in the background. I just love those like twally patterns on it. So this, oh, sorry, this has three of each of uh, 20 designs, single-sided. This is that like coral color. 
These are nice heavyweight papers too. And there's another uh, kind of a, uh, I guess that's not twelve, but it's so pretty, isn't it? Oh, I would love a wallpaper in that color. And I'm not really a blue person, but I do love these. This is so cute with those bees. And this one coming up is one of my favorites. Isn't that gorgeous? The yellow is such a nice, uh, like sunflower color yellow. That's what I think of. Small bees. This one is uh, another small floral print. It's great for backgrounds, cards. Isn't that beautiful? Oh man, this is my other favorite. It's navy blue with like yellow roses on it. I use some, as you can see. And there's another floral print. You've got some bees in there. Just a small touch of bees, you know, not like over the top. And then that rosy color and a plaid. And then there's like a honeycomb pattern in the background with a little bit of flowers and bees sprinkled over it, all navy. Just something different, you know? I love this color too. It looks like a napkin or a tablecloth, kind of. It's a little distressed, if you can see, a little speckled. Use that. And then this one is just a small floral print. And then that rosy, corally color. I don't know how well this goes with the rest of it. I guess it's okay. And then there's um, the honeycomb pattern in the background with some bigger bees. As long as the bees don't get too big, I think they're cute. But once they get like really big, eh. This is another one of those sunflower yellow papers with uh, just like a white print on it. And then a honeycomb. And that, that's kind of like a brownish orange color. Yeah. It's not really that coral color. Isn't that a pretty bee paper? I use this too. Yeah, I took one out. So yeah, that's called bees. I'm gonna keep an eye out for the big one because I, I would like that too. Um, they had a few things on clearance. I picked up this big pack of envelopes and this was $7.99 reduced to $1.99. And they're shaped like the back is like this. They're all like craft envelope envelopes. There's a lot in here. And these were, these weren't in the regular envelope section. They were on an end cap. Kind of like, I guess where like wedding invitation things would be. They also had white ones and um, they had, they had the same pack with the higher price and the reduced price was higher too. So I got the one that was cheaper. But um, yeah, I thought that was a great deal for like, you know, you could put your five by seven cards in there or whatever kind of size you want and for two bucks thought why not and they also had some do individual diamond dots on clearance this time uh, last time it was just the packs so I got this one which is kind of a gray and they're 49 cents now reduced from 199 I got a bunch of them I got this one it's like a teal color I'll just sh show two at a time these two like pinky ones two more pinky ones and they're all different and then these two another gray but it's like a lighter gray and a different blue and I've been putting my diamond dots on my um, that little metal target cart I got let me get that and I'll show you okay so this is the little cart it's kind of hard to show but um the diamond dots fit perfectly on here and as you can see i kind of arranged them by color um sort of you know if i had four of one color i would just line them up like that and they fit perfectly four four down and um six across so i have room on the bottom so i'm going to add my new ones there divide up the colors and yeah it works really good i also put some of those um Dollar Tree magnets on there. So I'm just gonna move this out of the way and we'll get back to the haul. All right, so next I went to Michael's and I saw this on Erica's channel. Hi Erica, if you're watching. She had picked this up, um, I think it was this one, for $3.99, they're on clearance, these Recollections paper packs from $9.99. And I like this one because um, I love this white glitter. It's like, a, you know, it's not a colored glitter, it's just white. It's got like, I don't know, maybe like some black glitter flecks in there, but the the uh, the shine is just white, which is nice. And then on the back, it has a really pretty gold glitter too. It's not too much of a yellow gold. 
and it has the the regular card stocks inside um, I like this stripe a lot plain red and this one you know I could do without but for $3.99 for 25 sheets I thought that was a good deal so I picked that up and let's see I picked up these paint brushes um, I think yeah it was like buy one paper crafting tool thing and you got the other one for 50% off so I picked these up I don't remember how much it was this was last week and I got these but I need some new brushes and I love the color of these of course and all the different um, you know kinds of bristles I thought was pretty good so that's the contents on the back in case you're interested and then for my other paper crafting tools item I got these which are detail blending tools from Ranger and they just look like tiny little foam pads on the end of these like sticks sometimes when you're ink blending you have like a little area that you need to get into so I thought these would be perfect for that I've tried to use like q-tips before but they don't work that great so I'm hoping these will work better so there's that and then in the like kids crafting aisle the creatology they have some new uh, jars of like glitter and shaker bits so I got this one this one says shaped clay glitter and is there another name on them mm, I don't see one but uh, these are like little uh, uh, flowers and they have holes in them all different colors this was $349 I think but I did use a 40% off coupon so um, there's a lot in here too oh it's closed all right well you could see what they look like and it is 1.4 ounces so I thought these would be good to use on well to use in shakers and you can also just glue these on individually and then I was thinking you could put like a tiny gem or some nouveau drops in the middle these would even make nice uh, flower centers I was thinking so I got those and then the little modern mini things are 75% off now so I got a few of them uh, I picked up this little kitchen set it's got a little like charcuterie board a cute little gold bowl and a rolling pin and I'm pretty sure this was, was $3.99 so 75% off it was a dollar so that was great and this one you can obviously use as a charm I was thinking maybe using like a rub-on transfer or something on there if I have one small enough and then you know I'll use the other ones in something maybe um, like uh, like a shadow box or I don't know oh maybe like one of my gingerbread uh, buckets that would be cute so there's that and I also got these utensils 75% off I think these were a dollar as well it comes with forks and spoons yeah aren't they cute they're black and they feel like really nice quality and they have details on them there's eight pieces so one two I guess four of each yeah so there was that and then I also got this little bench I think this was like less than two dollars and uh, it's really cute I was thinking somehow I can use it in my tiered tray you know put something on there maybe just like little salt and pepper shakers or little figures or whatever maybe my little turkey salt and pepper shaker I got and I'll probably end up painting it but I thought that was really really cute and for 75% off I figured that would be uh, a good purchase so that is it from Michaels um, let me just move this over and we'll get to my other things I, I got an order in from a cherry on top I'm just gonna plop this on the floor whoops <laughs> um, I needed some new Halloween crafting things because I'm working on some Halloween projects for KS craft and I do have some older Halloween collections but you know I wanted to get some of the new ones so this one just came out it's called spooky by echo park and I thought it was really really cute and I haven't opened this yet I thought we could do it together so yeah this is a collection kit which I love to get um, you know it comes with uh, stickers and a bunch of papers just a little bit of everything so in case you haven't seen it yet it comes with 12 12 by 12 double-sided papers and it comes with stickers of course so that's the cover page and this is the first page really really cute witch pattern love that one and the back are the jack-o-lanterns this one's called witchy night in case you want to order them individually I'm pretty sure scrapbook.com has this collection now as well here are cutter parts 
very, very cute. Happy Boo Day to you. I'm just here for the candy. Creep it, creep it real. That's cute, the little jack-o'-lantern, well, big jack-o'-lantern in a uh, wagon. Hey Boo, best witches, trick or treats, witches, goblins, and ghouls, trunk or treats. Let's boo this. That's really cute. Happy haunting. And Halloween, spooky ghosts, boo, trick or treat, haunted night, moonlight. And the back of that looks like this. This one's called three by four journaling cards. That's a cute, pr uh, cute pattern. And then this is the next one, all the jack-o'-lanterns and bats and stars. And the back is that nice plaid. I love the, the strip at the bottom, the branding strip. You could totally cut this apart and use that on a tag or something on your cards or embellishments. That's called carved pumpkins. Here's a nice um, bat print. And this orange is really, it's like a burnt orange color. I like that a lot. It's not too bright. And the back is the plaid, really pretty plaid. Bewitched bats, that one's called. Here are some more cut aparts. And these are the different size ones. Ghosts and goblins, spooks galore, scary witches at your door, jack-o'-lanterns glowing bright, wishing you a haunting night. That's cute. And that could be an instant card, you know, just put that on a, a pretty card background and you're all set. Let's get spooky. Which way to the candy? If you got it, haunt it. So frank and cute. Oh, that's, that's adorable. I like this strip here. You could use these together or cut them apart. Love the houses. And then the back is this black and white stripe. This one's called multi-journaling cards. And then next is this black and white print. If you could see the trees back there and there's white stars and moons. And the orange background or back page, really cute. Spooky night. And then the cute kids in costumes. Oh, that's so cute. Love these. Whoever drew these, I really like their style. And then the back, it's, it's like the sagey green color, maybe a little bit more gray. Freaky friends and little spiders. They look like ticks, actually, but I guess they're spiders. And then we have these cut aparts. These are big cut aparts. Haunted home is a, a, wait, sorry. A haunted home is a happy home. A candy day keeps the monsters away. And all the other ones, that's cute like this a lot. What a cute collection. And multicolor stars on the back. It's called journaling cards. And then there's a candy scatter print. That's cute, the little ghost lollipops and cake pops. And the back is this nice orange print called creepy candy. Oh, look at these ghosts. These are adorable. Oh, what cute ghosts. I like those a lot. And there's that sage sagey green background and little skulls on the back. If skulls can be cute, those are cute. And that's a black background. Here are some more cut aparts. Boo Crew. Black cat. Love black cats. Really adorable. A wood background. And then some spider webs. Oh, sorry. I didn't tell you what that one was called four by four journaling cards. And there's that one. And then the back is just a polka dot called winding webs. And then the stickers look like this. Always love these stickers, especially the borders. I like to use those on cards. That, that Dracula is adorable. The cute houses, spooky good fun, tricks and treats. The banners I'd love to use too. These two. Oh, there's that cute little ghost. Oh, good. Another one too. So yeah, that's called Spooky. I figured I'd get that while I could. And I got the ephemera too for that. There's that. Let me open that up and show you. I'd like to see how big they are too. Okay, and this comes with 34 pieces. That's really cute. Um, I don't use ephemera all that often, but I, I like how these are die cut really nicely. Ghouls just wanna have fun. 
Budafall. These are great to add to um, to tags. Halloween night. Got candy. These are a good size too, not too big. You know, sometimes ephemera can get so big you don't know what to do with it. Creep it real. Look, he's got a, a bow tie on. He's a fancy skeleton. And then you have a pumpkin topiary. It's boo time. What? Just a O. There must be a B and an O in here somewhere too. Which way the candy? Trick or treat. This is like a pop out frame too. Happy Halloween. Perfect for cards. If you don't want to like stamp out anything, just add that. So cute. It's scary. Oops. Stay spooky. My little creep. Okay. <laughs> There's a little candy. Fright night. There's the other O. Happy Halloween witches. Boo to you. That's a pop out frame too. Oh, drop one. Eek. Best witches. October 31st. Those cute little trick or treaters. Come in for a bite. I put a spell on you. Happy haunting. Oh, the bee fell on the floor. There is a bee. Trunk or treat also pops out. That's really cute. You could put like a picture in there. Great for a mini album. Sticky faces, sticky faces, tired feet. One last house trick or treat. Oh, it's adorable. Okay, so that's what I got from uh, the Spooky Collection. I also got another paper pad that I did break into already. This one is called Hocus Pocus by Stephen Duncan. And this is a six by six. And this is also from, no, this is Cartabella. This has 24 double-sided papers. Um, I like the vintage look of this. So that's why I picked it up. I will um, show you or give you a flip through here. See like the vintagey pumpkins. And then it's got um, like, creepy spiders and there's like this I don't really like that oops I like the vintagey like patterns not really the wording that's cute cute bats this one I'd love and I did use this in a project I'm working on um, chaos craft Halloween projects like I said and I use this in a card the other one there's a stripe with a, like a night sky in the back like this, I don't like that. I don't like these. That's just me, but I do like these pattern papers. Cute broom, skeletons. This orange is a nice bright orange if you're looking for that. There are bats with like shadows in a, like a vertical uh, formation. These cute black cats, those are adorable with witch hats on them. And the white is like an off-white, very, very vintagey looking. And then these spider webs and those cute jack-o'-lanterns with the polka dots. I like that. These, uh, these I think are better. Something wicked this way comes. Trick or treat. What's up, pumpkin? And then the back looks like that. Are you a good witch or a bad witch? Hocus pocus. I put a spell on you. And those cute ghosts. And this is kind of like a blue background here. And then, is this where it started? Let me see. No. Then there's this pattern here with the pumpkins and bats. And witch hats. Okay, this is where it started. So yeah, I just wanted a, a little bit of this paper pad and uh, I did make a cute project with it that I'll show you very soon. And then the, no, I got a few more things from a cherry on top. I picked up this stamp set. This is an older one from Simple Stories. It's called uh, Feeling Frosty Stamps. It's from last year, 2021. And I had it in my cart for the longest time, like in my saved items. And I figured I'd just get it this time. I think there weren't that many left. So I wanted to get it because it really looks like snow and cocoa to me. It doesn't look like that to you. So I thought this would go really well with that collection. I love the little house. That's so cute, right? And the hot chocolate. Um, yeah, everything's really adorable. The snowflake that has the heart in the middle. This is like a, like a tree stump kind of. Let it snow. Love you very much, a teeny tiny stamp. So yeah, I figured I'd get that. And then I got a few things of washi. These are, I think they're newer from Doodlebug. I got two of the colors. These are scallop 
washi tapes. So there's cupcake scallop and um, swimming pool. So like it's not die cut, but the pattern on it is scalloped. So it looks like this. And I thought that would make a nice addition to cards or to envelopes. And I just love doodle bugs. So, and these two colors really jumped out at me. So I got those too. All right, so that's it from A Cherry on Top. Um, I got a few things from Zoo Lily, and then we'll wrap this up. And these just came in today, so I didn't get a chance to open them. Uh, remember when I was complaining I couldn't find pink alcohol markers that I had liked? Well, I forgot that I had ordered these from <laughs> Zoo Lily. Sometimes you order from them, and it takes a long time to get it. So um, that's what happened. And I'm old, so I forget things. <laughs> so anyway. I got these illustrator markers by Spectrum Noir, and this is a delicate collection. So it says with professional hand-picked colors, and I believe, okay, these are the colors, portrait pink, cream, rose blush, and tea rose. So I think these are alcohol markers, right? I think that's what it said on the page. Hopefully, I guess we'll see. It doesn't say on here. But it has a brush and a super fine tip, which is nice. So yeah, so I got the Delicate Collection, and then I got the Grays. And these are called Essentials. And it comes with True Black, okay, Black, Brown Gray 2, a Blender Brush, and Brown Gray 6. So yeah, more, more alcohol markers, hopefully. And then I got these colored pencils, and they're metallic, so I don't have any metallic ones. I thought these would be fun. And these are the colors. Really pretty. I thought like muted colors would be good for like fall kind of stamp projects. So I'm looking forward to trying that. And speaking of metallic, I also got these. Well, they're not metallic. It says pearlescent. So this is a pearlescent watercolor pan set. 28 brilliant pearlescent colors, sturdy portable holder palette, paintbrush included, water soluble, love when they say that, <laughs> watercolors, and easy to blend. So yeah, those are really pretty colors. And that's what they come with, what it comes with. I've never used our pearlescent watercolors, so looking forward to trying that. Of course, I will keep you updated of how that goes. And yeah, so that's my haul. Um, like I said, I have a Chaos Craft video coming up probably in the next day or so for my Halloween projects. Um, yeah, I think it'll probably be after this video, possibly before. And thank you all so much for your feedback about my home decor haul video last week. Um, I, it seems like a lot of people enjoyed it, so I will definitely keep going with those. I love to collect home decor dishes and um, you know seasonal decor, so I will definitely show more videos like that as I get things. So thanks so much for letting me know. I, I love making them, so I'm glad you like watching them too. All right, everybody, that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed this haul. Please let me know what you think. And um, thanks to everybody who comes back every week and uh, leaves such nice comments or just watches or just gives me a thumbs up. I appreciate every one of you. And thanks to all my new subscribers. I get um, you know more subscribers every day and I really, really appreciate that. I'm so glad you're here. I never take any of you for granted. So thank you so much. And I will be back soon with more crafty videos. Hope you have a wonderful weekend and take care. Bye everybody.